This webinar focuses on the Bash shell using the GNU Readline Library in default Emacs mode to enable command line editing and is default on Linux and Mac OS systems. Before we can start using shortcuts, we must first locate the meta key. On Linux, this is the Alt key, which is pressed and held along with either the control key or a keyboard character. Mac OS systems can be configured to use Option as its meta key. It is these combinations of key presses that creates a shortcut. The first type of shortcut to be aware of are those designed for efficient command line navigation. These shortcuts allow you to move effortlessly across the command line. You can jump from one end to the other, skip forward or backward one word delimiter to the next, or move directly to a specific location, such as the middle. If you find yourself spending valuable time scrolling back and forth along the command line, consider next time using navigation shortcuts. Next we have command line edit shortcuts. These simple shortcuts enable swapping characters, words, or changing the case of a word or part of a word from upper to lower or lower to upper. These shortcuts make it possible to quickly correct common typos. Command line recall shortcuts. These shortcuts make it possible to quickly find a previously used command and either execute it or use part of it to create a new command. Never grep history again with recalled shortcuts. To run a previous command, part of a previous command, or the previous nth command, there are bash bang shortcuts. Or if you simply want to run the most recent command that started with a given string, instead of specifying its historical index, there is a bash bang shortcut for that too. A close relative of cut and paste are the kill and yank shortcuts. With this type of shortcut, full words, parts of words, or whole command lines can be killed into a clipboard and then yanked out later to be inserted into a new command line being composed. With kill and yank, your current command line may be gone, but it's not forgotten. One of the most commonly used shortcuts are for completion. With these, one can just type the name of the beginning of a file, directory, or command and get suggestions back for its completion, or elect to put the completion directly onto the command line. More powerful specifications regarding the completion entity being queried are possible if one digs a bit deeper into these shortcuts.